Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about API interview questions, something like API testing interview questions. It is like uh, it's not exactly what is the question going to ask by a uh, interviewer. It is like uh, what kind of question, what topic or what uh, like kind of a what subject they may cover and uh, uh, basic stuff what you need to attend a API testing interview questions. Okay, this is for a beginner level. Uh, so the first question is like uh, what is API? I have got uh, mostly the answer is from out of my like more than uh, 500 plus interviews like I have taken I, around 200 plus AP testing interviews uh, out of 200 most of them like uh, 150 plus I can say AP testing is application programming interface what is API application programming interface okay so why we need to understand uh, API basically so if you don't know what is API then what you are going to do while doing API testing if you don't know what is API then it's no use of uh, testing that so without knowing that if you are testing it is kind of a given uh, given something to uh, like kind of a blind and uh, asking asking like uh, what is this even they will answer it because they have some other uh, what strength even just by touching they will tell so it is like that so you should know api to do api testing so this question is most more important uh, even if they ask like uh, do you know api testing then you should say this is what api so i will test like this so if you know what is api then you can test properly as well as you can uh, like for other question also you can relate it to this so the interview will get a confidence that yeah he knows better so basically what is api okay so again application programming interface uh, don't tell simply this three word uh, just tell like what you understood what you understood so this is interface but like why why we are using it so this actually what it's doing so that way you have to explain it is like the next question you will get that so what is the use of api okay so basically what is what is the use of api if you know what is api then you know what is the use of api then you will get to know why what why we are testing and what we are testing in that so uh, what is the use of api for example any application the data uh, transfer from back end server to front end or uh, if you are integrating some other third party or if you are giving our uh, data access to some third party so everything happening through api because we can restrict based on the role we can restrict based on the usage uh, no need to give our database access if someone wants to use our uh, data we can create a api for example we have one uh, uh, database of uh, all the users if you want to share that data if you are giving database they will take all the users but we have to give only the particular user like uh, maybe someone asking like we need a user uh, age from 18 to 25 so we can restrict that uh, we can give it to them we can create a api based on the age they can search and get it so uh, just to avoid direct interaction of db uh, these are all like api uses like everywhere now everywhere api is there even downloading a image for a website even downloading a content for a website so before it was all written hard coded but now no nothing nothing hard coded in um, website like they will just create a layout and just call from the api so that's the use of api so this this is this i can tell because if i if i would have understood understood what is api i can tell like kind of a real time example even when the when this question arises basically you should start from real time example so that interviewer will get a confident that okay is he, he, he actually understood what is api and tested it okay otherwise simply say okay you got some url and uh, uh, i think he got some url and just triggered from a tool is just check the response so that way you will think and uh, that's what real time example of api uh, you have to give if you give that i think uh, if you are able to give that means you are uh, you have understood the api and api testing okay if you are not able to give real time example then i don't think so you know api and uh, api testing properly so after this only you will get a 
kind of a technical question the particular to that api so what is the status code for success what is the status code for server error internal error not found unauthorized so there are most used cases like 200 201 302 uh, like all 200 series 300 series 400 and 500 series just read a bullet tip and uh, you don't need to explain everything but most uh, mostly what and all you will get error 404 you will get if not for 500 internal server error 200 for success 302 for redirection something like that you just highlight this stuff that much is enough no one will remember all the status code because uh, like even developer like we have to like they will also refer and write it so this most used and most familiar one if you explain that is actually good enough uh, if you able to cover the what is api api testing this like this will list priority and response validations so what is response validation so what you will validate in the api so if you are uh, creating some order what and all you will validate order created order created for how much so that price validation uh, and uh, basically how you will get this scenario so just try to find the future for that api order creation is the api for order creation what are the scenarios basically you will apply from the ui most of the most not most everything like you should apply for a api also there is there is there is no like separate scenario for ui and separate scenario for web uh, some some sorry api it's not like that there are some scenario ui specific and there are some scenario api specific but for future scenario it appears for like it, uh, it like it's required for both like if you write for once for future based scenario you can apply for ui as well as api okay so this is scenario and uh, tools so for manually what are the tool you will use so majorly used tool like uh, 19 90, more than 90 plus user uses postman for manual uh, postman like api testing and uh, some they will use swagger because swagger contract they will share right from there only they can uh, trigger and try positive and negative like all the error cases they can try from there also for automation if you are a java guy you use rest assured and uh, for a javascript guy you can use uh, see java guy rest assured or http client so http client like rest assured created using http client you can directly use http client also these are the way of question they will ask and if you're a man automation guy okay so javascript again cypress or uh, uh, some other internal like module and python you can just use request module so something like that you can you can explain them even if you don't know about api automation uh, there is option to do in postman also some level you can do okay so cover try to cover some uh, some point for automation also they may ask but just read about it in internet just try it out uh, if you are not uh, good in programming at least try it out in postman okay it will be uh, i think you will understand what is automation using that then uh, root causes uh, for api bug something like uh, how you will root cause how you will find uh, from where the bug is come so if you want to test api first what are the stuff required you should know so first you should know uh, like uh, what is the structure of api each api structure you should know what are the payload what are the valid response invalid response api document is mandatory for example swagger contract or any document is mandatory to start api testing and then you should uh, for example when you are testing the ui you will validate the data from api so when you are testing api from where you will validate from ui you will validate no it's not a it's not good idea actually if you are uh, trying to test api you should validate data from database and if you are trying to test ui you have to do from api something like that so you should not do reverse because api developer uses a sorry ui developer uses api only if you validate against that then i don't think so you are validating right so you should have the uh, backend logs as well as db access without this two if you are testing api simply you are doing some, something like you are verifying you are not actually testing and uh, from web to api so there might be questions like i have given you a website how will you do api testing for it so first we should know is there api integrated or just static website so that you will get it from a network network tab i think network tab of uh, chrome uh, any browser there is a network tab in the inspect element and from mobile to api like mobile app i have given to you 
there might be a question will come like uh, I have given you a mobile app and how will you do API testing so this this question is like uh, we need a proxy tool so you don't need to mention exact tool also uh, simply you can say uh, by using proxy tool we can get all the API and uh, we can do it in the postman so in Charles also we can verify okay for tracking the API we need some proxy tool to get all the API which mobile app uses so then which tool you have used there are uh, Charles proxy Bob suit and uh, uh, Fiddler there are uh, if you are using Linux there is a, a proxy I proxy something is there so I'm not sure about Linux so there are a lot of tools proxy tool you can mention and how you will set up that uh, if it is HTTP yes how mobile app will work if certificate pinning how your mobile app uh, how you will fetch the API if certificate pinning you cannot fetch the API without developer uh, help if HTTPS you should install the certificate so this all the knowledge required for a API tester okay if just check like uh, where you are and uh, if you are not in this up to this uh, please update yourself uh, based on this video or something like that I think uh, I have covered most of the cases I said beginner level but I have covered uh, uh, even for this this slide cover like most of the stuff okay uh, my my simple suggestion is if you are going for api testing interview you should know uh, the backend uh, stuff like just by having a basic ui knowledge don't uh, simply go for a api testing interview uh, if they start asking about uh, the status quo tools root cause this backend from web to api uh, then you will get a confused and you will say like uh, I don't know so it all then it, it will be very confusion even if you are strong in the UI uh, if you didn't answer well on the API then they may get chance that okay can you do UI testing at least so better you can say I'm strong in UI testing like API testing I just did this much uh, how much like I just I just very verified the response that's it from the network tab nothing else I did so these are all like uh, you can straightforward you can tell them then they if they are okay with that if the requirement is okay for only for UI, it's fine so and you can tell like you know even I'm still learning uh, like uh, from mobile application also like how to fetch API so you are learning you can add it there so that they will get an idea okay uh, he know basic but he's still learning okay that will help them to uh, take decision actually uh, without giving input from your side what they will like how, they, how can they take decisions right they cannot take okay so just see what are the what and all you are missed out okay just improve then you can go for a interview okay guys thanks for watching video if you like my video please subscribe my channel